WebCRM Style Wizard allows you to build and manage your email and PDF templates in an easy and simple way, directly into your WebCRM system. The wizard lets you create and define different default themes to your templates, so you then can have a variety of standard expressions when you send your emails or PDF documents out to your customers and prospects. For starters, you must first define a theme for your upcoming templates. Therefore, you must access the wizard template tool here in Utilities, Templates, and Wizard Themes. Here you can click Create Theme to create a new, but you can also click on the Create Standard, where the style wizard makes a default theme which you subsequently built. Now click on Create Theme. Choose a description to your theme, and then the default width, and click Save. In order to define the general tab, you must first set up the headlines, spacers, borders, and text, as these are the ones that eventually represent the standard. On the tab Headlines, select sizes and colors of the font that will form the headlines in the various sections in the template. Select the font, size, and color, and click the update icon in the desired location, then give it a name, and click Save. In the tab Spacers, choose what type of spacers you want to be able to insert between the different sections in your email or PDF templates that are built with this theme. The spacer can be both transparent but also contain a horizontal line that clearly shows your newsletter sections. Now insert the different type of spaces to be used by this theme and click Save. In the tab Borders, you must first define the type of borders you want in example to be around your sections or blocks in the templates using this theme. Therefore, choose the size of the border. If the line should be solid, dotted, or dashed, as well as the color the border should have. Note that if you don't choose a color, the border will automatically be transparent. Continue selecting the borders you want available to this theme and click Save. In the tab Text, select the fonts you want to have the ability to choose to templates that uses this theme. Therefore, choose the font, size, as well as formatting and colors, and click on the update icon on the line where to place it, and give it a description. At the same time, you also need to select the link color of the font for when the font is used as a link. Continue selecting the remaining fonts you would like to have and click Save. Here, in Images, you can upload the images and banners that should always be available when the theme is selected. In Files, select the standard attachments to your template with this theme. And finally, on the Links, choose the standard links that you want selectable when the theme is chosen for one of your templates. When you're done defining your theme, click on the General tab and choose the standard for the theme based on the definitions you chose in the seven other tabs. Finally, click Save and your WebCRM Style Wizard theme is now ready for use. Remember that you can always create a default theme instead of starting from scratch, where you easily can change the standards which are defined. When you create your template, you can also opt in links, images, and attachments that should apply to the individual template. Remember that your individual WebCRM editor can see how to create a template with a WebCRM style wizard theme.